Guys, welcome. We have a brand new mod today of Spyro the Dragon. This is the first of many, hopefully, uh, randomizers that we're gonna see of this game. Uh, this one's made by Pete Guy 100 and uh, basically what's gonna happen in this playthrough is the gems, the dragons, and all of the um, boxes and like chests, hey, stuff I like that, they're all moved around to different weird places. So we're gonna see if this is completable. Uh, I have the harder kind of weird settings where they'll put them like out of bounds or maybe in the void. So as you can see right here, <laughs> Our first dragon is a little bit off to the side here. There may be a game crash uh, at some point, but um, yeah, this is <laughs> this is the first ever real Spyro randomizer. We have had uh, a history of different kind of like randomizers of this game in the past. There was a gem redistributor mod, um, as well as a kind of level gauntlet mod. Um, but this is the first like proper like you know moving gems and stuff around. So I'm just gonna kind of casually run around and just start grabbing stuff and um, try to complete the game uh, any percent because I really don't think that <laughs> I really don't think it's going to be possible to 120 this but uh, yeah I'm probably going to need this life I think though but yeah let's head into some other levels here what do you say we had um look at this okay hold on I have to get that dragon up there hold up Hold up, we gotta get this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Yes, beautiful. Give me this. Yes! Legend. When does YouTube get e new emotes? Uh, YouTube will get new emotes when I um, get more YouTube memberships, I believe. I I'll have to double check to see if there's more emote slots now. But since I only have like, what, like 30 members or something right now, I, I just don't have that many slots compared to like the thousand or whatever, however many thousand I had at one point on Twitch. So that's why there's so many more emotes on Twitch than YouTube. Also, Twitch is just better than than YouTube as far as emotes are concerned. Let's just be honest. It has the animated emotes. I don't even think YouTube has animated emotes. Oh God, where are these guys? I'm gonna go up this way. By the way, I'm not gonna be following any particular route here or anything. I'm just gonna be grabbing stuff as I see it and just having fun with it. So the way this mod works is that you can select different um, parameters um, before creating the actual file for the game itself. So in the config settings uh, for this run, oh, you know what, I fucked up. To get up there, I have to let those, uh, those bulls kill me, so, or not kill me, but hit me. So let's grab some of these things, grab the dragon, and then uh, respawn the, actually let's not grab the dragon yet, let's just respawn back at the start, or back at the upper area. And then we'll, these guys should be respawned, nice. And then what we'll do is we'll let this guy hit me up here. Beautiful, love that. Oh, fuck. Let me uh, collect this stuff down here while I'm thinking about it. This is so unserious. Dude, this is very serious. I don't know how you could even say this is unserious. This is about as real of a speedrun as you'll ever see in your life. Oh, okay, so let's not... Let's go here. Let's go this way. Dude, I'm loving these... Oh, fuck, dude. I would love to get up to that upper area. Hold on. Let's try this again. All right. We definitely got to get up to that dragon. And in order to do that, we have to uh, let this guy be right there and then do this. Nice. Oh, gotta get this spin jump. I bet you a million bucks there's gonna be gems on the, uh... Oh, dude, there's the return home portal. <laughs> there's gotta be gems over there on the, uh... On the fucking mountains, right? Okay, so what we gotta do now is fly and get hit by that bull down there to get to this, uh, dragon. Nice, beautiful. Oh my god, expert gameplay by me there. I guess you could say it's like a controlled randomization compared to like actually being completely random. Um, hold on, before I navigate away here, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything up here. Nothing in the void. 
Uh, you could call it like controlled randomization because like I said, you sort of uh, change the parameters of it um, before uh, actually, yep, there is stuff out here. <laughs> before actually, um, you know, creating the, the file. So it's it's sort of like not truly random, uh, but what, if you did want it to be truly random, you could just set the, um, the seed to be uh, what, like completely random and then just create a new seed like every time, create like a new file every time essentially. But yeah, right now, like since I'm playing this on a console on disc, it's gonna be the same like basic seed every time, I think. Okay, I'm gonna die. That's fine. I got I got the one gem out here. You know, I gotta I gotta take that. That's a dub. Uh, let's see. Where else are we going? We gotta go over. I think we got enough stuff here. Let's let's at least get the thief. Let's see if we can get up to this area. Can you get up there? Or I guess you'd have to glide from the other side here. I'll just go around here and get the thief. Oh yeah, I gotta get that one. Hold up, gotta get this one. Keep it classy. Go up over here and then we'll get out of here in just a moment. Clean up the rest of the stuff. Nothing over here. But yeah, you'll notice that some of the gems are in like more easy to access areas and some things are in less easy to access areas. So you can actually adjust this mod so that like gems are only in like, are, they're moved around but only in easy to access areas or like medium or hard to access areas. I turned it up so that there's more weight on the hard areas just because I want to see like how hard the hard gems are. You guys know I like, you guys know I like hard things, you know, I'm just saying. Get me out of here. Yeah, it does remind me a lot of Spyro 3.5. I, I agree, uh, Aju. I agree. It's like, just shit moved around to, like, kind of really random places. Now, there's got to be some stuff over here. Hold up. There's got to be some stuff out of bounds over here. Let me see. No? I'm going to go into Toasty, see what's going on in Toasty here. I'm going to try to, like, go... In oh, pff, the classic... Dude, look at all this shit up here. How do you get up there? I, re I remember learning this once. You have to like... I think you have to glide from like over there and then... Like, do you remember when I got the first dragon, you glide over there? I think you could glide all the way back over this way. I think that's the strat. Um, I think for now, let's head over to Dark Hollow and then I'll go ahead and move on. I know I said I'd go into every level. Let's just go to Dark Hollow, move on, and keep it moving here. Just so we're not stuck in artisans all day. Also, I'm going to eat some hot nuts here. And also, let me open my window a little bit. So I can get some more light in here. Ah, there I go. Much more, much more illuminated. Much better. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Look at the portal right there. <laughs> oh yeah, and I didn't mention this, but to anyone who's watching the video of this after the fact, I'll- Oh! There's the fucking dragon. To anybody watching the video after the fact, um, I will be posting the link to this mod in the description. It should be just like a GitHub link. And there's like a whole readme there that explains all the file creation stuff. All right, let's go out of bounds here. No return home portal, that's nice. Oh yeah, look at all these gems over here. All these beautiful, sexy gems. It's so cool to see all the gems like moved around like this. Dude, look at this. I mean, who would think to go over here? I love it. <laughs> hey, Spyro. Um, yeah, who would think, you know? I, I should listen to one of these dragons and hear what they have to say. You know, with uh, the previous like gem color, mo hold on, there's gotta be a gem here somewhere, right? Out of bounds in this spot, no? 
There's gotta be something hiding back over here. I, I got it. I'd be blown away. I guess there's not. I think that's about everything we want. I'll grab this life chest just for good measure. Don't boing. The stream where I did all the dragon voices, yeah. Dude, I think like if someone really like took the time to like really learn all of their lines. Like that'd be pretty badass. I didn't even bother. I was just doing it like drunk and stupid, like. Okay, I'll grab this dragon, then we'll get out of here. We got most of the stuff in Town Square. This is not gonna be like a 120% playthrough. This is just gonna be any percent. Because some the reason why is because some stuff is gonna be un unattainable with the settings I have. Once we start getting to levels that have like voids and stuff, um, some stuff will be like near the void, for example. So it's just with the settings I have on right now, it's impossible to 120% as far as I understand. All right, let's continue. Wait a minute. All right. Ten dragons. We're chilling. I probably should have gone to Stone Hill, actually, in retrospect. There's a lot of dragons there. If I need more dragons later, I'll come back there. I love how just, like, randomly they're just all over the place here. It's just so, like, it's, like, such a mind fuck to me to see gems in such weird places, especially with the dragons just being all over the place. Well done, Spyro! Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny! Destiny? I just want to keep- <laughs> There he is! Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure! That's him. They d what? I didn't even press the- Oh, because he died. He walked into a void. That's what happened. Spire was trying to walk over to that dragon. That's funny. Oh, I should mention that one thing that's not changed about this mod is the enemies. So the enemies are in the same place. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us. It's just, it's crazy. It's just a crazy mod. Oh damn, I gotta get shot by the guys to get on top of that place, that's funny. Okay, let's head over to Dry Canyon first. Yep, look, it looks like everything's going, going correctly there. Exactly. So I'm curious, since I grabbed that dragon... Or I'll do this with the other dragon. Let me collect some of this stuff first. Oh, that's another thing. Like, sometimes, um... Since I randomized the firework chests, the way they work is they spawn, but then they go to, like, their original spot. Or original, like, area that they're supposed to be in. So they, like, kind of just pop out and just, like, fly away, <laughs> basically. So gems can definitely get lost or despawned or weird shit like that. But again, you can adjust the settings of, of this um, mod so that it is 120%able. You just can't have it be as like random as this. Yeah, it should be possible to get every dragon. Even with on hard mode, I think it should be possible to grab every dragon. We'll see. Now I'm gonna try something here. I'm just curious. I'm gonna take a death. I'm gonna see where this spawns me. It should put me at the last dragon I grabbed, right? Oh, yeah, no, actually it does put me at, yes, it does put me at the last dragon I grabbed, but not at the pedestal, which is good. I mean, that's how it should work, I guess. Let's head over this way. <laughs> this one random, like it's, it's like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of prop hunt. Where, like, the boxes will just be hiding somewhere. It's like, hey, what are you doing there? Fucking shoot him with a machine gun. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah these nuts are spicy and they're delicious, so I'm very hungry. Why, Cheers. Spyro? I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Oh, my timer died. What was that? Did I forget to start it? <laughs> what am I at? Is that you, Spyro? What should it be at? Like 15 minutes or something? I'll put it at like 15 so minutes. Love. Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known. Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. We'll start it there. It's very, it's very accurate timer, you know, very accurate speed run. Oh, look at this gold up here. Oh, I thought it was a gold. Yeah, I'll just pretend like I've been playing for like 15 hours. Watch these gems like fly away. Oh, they got stuck there. Nice. But can I get up there? I even do this. Oh yeah, you gotta do something like that. You gotta do like a Tony Hawk grind. Oh, let me see if I can make this. Yeah, nice. Juicy. Anyone wanna come piss? What a what a delightful community we have here. Everyone just piss them together. Damn, how do you get this one? I guess you know. Oh, you can fly from up there, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And we already got most of this stuff here. So yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, you could do a vortex randomizer. You can move the vor vortices around. This one right in front of the portal. You just cut your dick off. Rest in peace, Michael. I forgot to put the timer on. No, it's it's on. I turned it on, I swear to God. I fucking took another death. I'm about to game over just from these dragon deaths. Where did that, did you see that gem? It like blew down weirdly. I think the gems from inside these uh, cauldrons like are random as well. Yeah, I think that one went over there. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. Where are you going, son? Get back here. I need this life. Grab this guy, cause why not? <laughs> yeah, on the bright side, Michael does not have to worry about no no nut November anymore. Try it. You gotta get on his level. You gotta get no dick November. Oh, I want to see where it goes. Oh, where to go? I I didn't see. I should have been paying closer attention there. These cauldrons are hilarious. When you flame, like, look, look at this cauldron right here. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> the fucking green just flies away. I don't know why that's so fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> it's the fucking backboard. The spicy soup. <laughs> Dude, how do you get on top of that roof? Do you see that? The fuck? These are funny. Oh wait, maybe? Hold up. Maybe from up here. Yeah, hold up, hold up. I'm getting that red. 
We got this. No, that was terrible. Oh, you know what? It sh you know what I should have done. I think I was supposed to get slapped by a mama. I think that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah, probably the mama. I think you're right, Bex. Like maybe this wall glide is pot. Okay, I'm, I give up. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not trying to get every dragon here or every gem. If this was 120%, this would be a nightmare. If anyone wants to see me 120% something like this in the future, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Dude, like, you wait, you can get behind? No way. You can get behind this thing? How do you do that? Maybe if I damage abuse, hold on, I have an idea. Like, if I get damage abuse by these guys. Come on, dude. Well, that didn't work. That, that was kind of crazy, but that did not work. What if I, um... What if I just jump over it with this? Is that possible? Jump on the spikes. Maybe I gotta try it from a different perch here. Let's grab this dragon. Yeah, no back seating. I'm, I'll, let me try to figure this out. Sub goal for the 120 randomized. Yeah, I might do that in the future. We'll see. I'd have to make a, a different disc of one that is actually doable. Can you just like fly like around this thing or something? Here, let me take the death. What am I on like zero lives now? Damn, and then you gotta get up over there too somehow. I don't even know how you do that. Dude, the vortex is up there. How? Oh wait, I know how. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, come here, bud. Come here, buddy. You can do it. Come on. You fucking cocksucker, get over here. Please? Dude, he doesn't give a fuck. He's just, he just a chilling hard body, like, okay, here we go. Get up there, Ah, oh. Yeah, something like that, I think, to get up there. This one red. Yeah, bird's just over it. Bird doesn't give a fuck. All right, I'll try jumping around again. And if this doesn't work, yeah. Hold on, let me land here. Right, I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys wanna see someone get around the, the fucking out of bounds thing, then just go follow Laura's stream. <laughs> go watch Laura's playthrough if you wanna see that. This is not intended. This is not gonna be, I'm not about to let this playthrough be me being stuck on something for like an hour. I refuse to let that happen. Only fun vibes here. You hear me? Only fun. Fuck. <laughs> Give me that green. Dude, hold up. I want that green. Ooh. Ooh, and this guy? Thank you. Key chest? Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find the key somewhere. And the key's position is randomized, I believe, as well. How the tornado get all the way to the top of the level? This is how the game is uh, normally. This is how it's naturally supposed to look. So the key is not here. Or, I mean, it wouldn't be there anyways. There's the vortex. Come on, maybe... Here, before I go over that way, let's, let's do the Shemp fight real quick. Ooh, a little purple here. There's the purple from earlier. Sure, I gotta like really analyze the area here. There also might be gems on like the side part of these platforms because you can get on them. Like 
like on the little pyramid parts of these little islands. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a dragon down there. Oh, no. Okay, that was just me sucking. I think that's a game over, isn't it? That's pretty, pretty garbage. Part of me wants to kind of just do the all lives cheat. I should have done that before game over. Now I gotta go all the way the fuck back. Fucking epic. It's alright. We'll go back. Oh, there's a... Well, hold on. There's a key. But where's the key chest? I don't think it's in its normal room, right? Most definitely not. Is it like down in the void here? Nothing down there. Nothing up there. I'm, I'm really being thorough with where I'm looking. Go over this way. Grab this guy. Where the oh spiral walked over there, fucking bitch. Okay, luckily I respawned right there. Oh, the key chest right here, chilling. Easy. <laughs> Thief can't decide where to go. Okay, where was I before? Let's go to Shemp again. And then we'll do some night flight. Yeah, we gotta get, we definitely gotta get the red spring chest in Lofty. For sure we'll go for red spring chest. And let me also just go straight up to the Shemp fight here. Oh, also we were looking for the key here. Keep your eyes peeled for that key. down here anywhere. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. Let's see. Oh, I lived. Nice. Look at that blue. Oh, what the fuck? The blue over there, you see that? I'm kind of tempted to go for that blue. Let me see if I see the key anywhere. Yeah, you'd have to do the vortex strat to get all the way up to that area. That's probably where the key is. Let's just go for it. Oop. Well, I guess I'm exiting this level. Yeah, you can do a strat where you like get damage to be super high up there. Damn, JX just singing the song of his people in my chat. My girl wants to party all the time. I don't know why I did it in a in like a angsty my chemical romance voice, but there you go. Alright, um I'm thinking let's go to Ice Cavern and then let's move on. Next home world after this. My girl wants to party all the time. Whoa, all the time. Let me see. I gotta see if there's a gem down here. Hold up. Oh no, there's not actually, surprisingly. Yeah, this is really cool, right, Matt? We're just sort of exploring right now, seeing what, seeing what it's all about. Oh, there's a key, nice. Big key. Dude, so true, Beck. So true. My girl do be wanting to sleep. She has sleepy ass. Dude, what's that shit doing there? That life chest is chilling. Do -do -do -do. Wait, I grabbed the key. There we go. Nice. And I caught the gems before they just flew off the edge. Very nice. 
<laughs> These boxes are so, such funny places. It's like you could tell Pete just like grabbed the gems and just moved them around. It's so fun. Oh, look at the eyes. I guess that's how it. Is that how they normally are? You could see the eyes through the back. Yeah, what's with that? Is that how that's supposed to work? Am I stoned? Oh, shit. Idiot. Yeah, that is weird. I might take a little break here for a moment and grab like a beer and then come back. Would anyone be offended by that? Let me at least go, let's get through Ice Cavern first and then I'll uh, I'll take a quick break before magic crap. Yeah, this should this honestly should be a beer percent run. I would say one sub equals one beer, but we already got like fucking 50 subs today or something, so I think we're good in that regard. By the way, Pete plays. I, I'm sorry I missed this. Pete plays with the five gifts half an hour ago. Probably at the, I think that was at the start of the run. Thank you for that, man. I know you're still around here somewhere, Pete. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Bex got my back. Whenever I missed a sub, Bex will always have my back. No, thank you for that, Pete. No, it, look, I will miss subs sometimes, but like, I'll usually be late. Like, whenever I miss a sub, it's always like late is better than never. That's like my, uh, that's my mantra. I'll always catch it. I might not respond super quickly, but usually I do. And when I don't, you can count on me to be late. You can always count on me to be reliably late. It's funny, when I'm doing like casual like playthroughs like this, I tend to miss more stuff. Um, from the- t <laughs> Bro, they're really gonna put it right here. Ca I can't get up to the other one. I can't get to the inner- well, How are you gonna do that to me? How are you gonna do me like that, Pete? Other Pete? What the fuck? That was rude. Hold on. Oh, we're good. We're chilling, actually. This is fine. <laughs> and, dude, and the dragon? Look at that shit. Do I like cider? You know what? No, I'm not a- I'm not a hard cider guy. I am not. My favorite, like, alcoholic apple-flavored drink that I've had is, um... Is the apple moonshine that, um, Time Traveler gave me mixed with Martinelli's. Martinelli's, like the apple cider in the champagne glass. But I know in other parts of the world, cider just refers to hard cider. But in America, cider is like implicitly not non-alcoholic, and then hard cider is the alcoholic version. I know that can be kind of confusing for for some. So yeah, we just call cider, like, just apple cider here. Yeah, isn't that weird? So yeah, apple cider is a thing out here. It's just not... It's not hard. That is different from hard cider. And Martinelli's is like sparkling apple cider, basically. That comes in a champagne bottle. Which is very fancy. But yeah, shit goes really good with uh, apple-flavored uh, moonshine. All drinks here are hard. Shit, I'm I'm hard just reading that. All right, whatever. Get me out of here. Let's head over to Magic Crap, and then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and grab a beer here. What do you guys think about that? Keep the chill the chill drunken vibes up. All right, BRB. Who? All right, I got my beer right here. Let's fucking get it. Chuggers in the chat. Thanks to everyone who subbed today. Big shout outs to the gifters. Big shout outs to Pete Guy 100 for making this fucking amazing mod. And shout outs to all of you watching right now for being fucking cute, sexy Spyro fans. Cheers. All right, let's continue. So once again, to those of you just joining me right now, we are doing any percent. 
with this mod that basically moves all the gems and boxes and dragons around. I have it set to extra hard dick mode. So some things are just straight up unattainable. <laughs> so that's part of the reason why I'm not going for 120%. But, if you guys want, I may or may not sub-goal a 120% playthrough of this in the future, with the settings possibly turned down slightly. But I just kind of wanted to see how ridiculous it was, kind of get get a, get a lay of the land, get my feet wet a little bit today, you know? This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly! I, I mean, it's just iconic, you know? He's, just, he's a beautiful dragon. My wings. Learn to fly! Got, <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Fucking dies. <laughs> Am I dead? Okay, no, we're good. Sometimes he'll like walk there and like walk off the fucking ledge. <laughs> this dragon is fucking fuck. <laughs> Regular apple cider is so good, dude. Hell yeah. You know, we um we went to like some fucking farmer's market, I forgot, in like somewhere in Virginia. Oh no, we went to like an apple orchard. Like an actual full-on farm. We I remember we met up with Nitrovsky and Cinder. Oh, there you go. There's the death. And, um, fucking... Yeah, they had their own homemade uh, apple cider there. Dude, it was so good. And all sorts of different, like, apple pies and apple donuts and shit like that. Shit was crazy. But like I said, I'm not, like, a big cider guy in general. Like, when it comes to, like, the unfiltered, like, gnarly, like, foggy stuff. It's not really my thing. I, th I think my favorite apple drink is either apple juice or Martinelli's sparkling apple cider. If I had to pick one. What's up, Alec is in? You love dude, isn't this epic? Like, it's just like it's a mind fuck to me to see this game with the fucking collectibles moved around. Part of me has always wanted like a version of the game like this. It's fucking cool. It, it reminds me, especially when the boxes are like hidden in little <laughs> The dragon is in he's inside him. Um, it reminds me of like when the boxes are hidden away in like little corners. It reminds me of like prop hunt. It's like who put this box here? This box is sus. As you can see, the vortex has moved around as well. Oh, I like this uh, layout here actually. Much nicer routing than in the actual original game. Hold on. All right, just one, yeah, just one from those. Kim with the uh, membership gift, thank you so much. Oh, am I gonna live this? Ooh, oh fuck. God damn it. God motherfucking damn it. Yeah, thank you, Kim. I don't know why that alert played twice, but thank you. Love you, Kim. Been super busy with work. Oh shit. <laughs> damn. Kim, I'm fucking up. We got this. Catch on the replay. Yeah, dude, hell yeah. I'm gonna, I'll be posting this on YouTube, don't worry. With all the BRBs cut out and the intro all fixed up. Okay, so these actually, I'm pretty sure these won't fly away. Normally when there's a gem fountain, yeah, like this, they kind of fly away like that. But in this case, it's no biggie. Oh, Dickens Cider? Yeah, I love Dixon Cider. I love putting Dixon Cider and then in my in my mouth as well. I love Dickens in my Dickens Dickens mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Dixon Cider. I believe he pro he prefers the pronunciation Dick is in cider. I believe it's how he pr 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 prefers the pronunciation. I love Dixon Cider. I was joking around about this earlier today. I was like, if you like light beer, you just gotta admit that you like piss. Like, if, I think this is true for a lot of beers, but especially with like light, like, you know, Bud Light, fucking American lagers like that. Oh, dude, there's gems over there. That's crazy. Um, you just gotta be honest with yourself. Like, you like drinking piss. Like, I, I like drinking cheap beer. I like Great piss. Works, you know, like, get, keep it real, you know? I don't know. Am I crazy for that? I like I like carbonated foamy piss in my mouth. 
Some people are just too, some people have too much pride to admit that. Yeah, I'm grabbing this one and then I'm out. Alcohol free, in America, we call it hard piss. <laughs> in other parts of the world, they just call it piss, but here it's piss, hard piss. Hard dick piss insider. Cheers, that's what I'm sipping on right now, by the way. <laughs> piss light. Damn. To magic crafters. This is crazy because like when you get this far away, it deloads part of the map. And recover the eggs from those pesky blue this is a really great like um illustration of how loading zones work in this game. When you cross over certain areas, it, it loads up parts of the map. So by being that far away, you can see that part of that area was not loaded. Pretty interesting. Give me that shit. Fucking give me that juicy ass. The bro should have joined me when I took a piss, dude. Real stuff, man. Alright, hold on. Let's see if we can get some crazy supercharges here. I should probably go to a uh, high case. Let's go to high case first, and then we'll fuck around with the supercharge. I should have saved that dragon for after the level. That probably would have made more sense. I am going to do the crazy supercharge like boost thing in the home world. All these juicy gems. Love them. Fuck. What? I... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the Vortex... Hey, fucking that Vortex snuck up on me. <laughs> Little bitch. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Hold on. Here we go. Yo! Oh, I thought that was a red spring chest for a sec. No, that was a, just a purple one. Another rare one. Give me this. That motherfucker snuck up on me. Where... Where... <sighs> Nothing? Am I really getting nothing over here? I'll make it. Make it! Fuck. Are the flying levels wild? Uh, let's check that out. I actually have not been into a flying level yet. Let's go to this one. I don't think it'll be different. It might be. But as far as like enemies and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure those are not changed. I think this should be the same as normal. It looks like it. And I'll do it anyways, just for the free gems. You hope Toys for Bob makes Spyro 4? Dude, hell yeah. Forget the fact that they're completely under, they, they've laid off half the staff and Activision itself is a bunch of layoffs and shit. I told Spyro 4 will happen. I'm excited for it. What about you guys? The Year of the Dragon. They can't not make Spyro 4. The Year of the Dragon. Spyro 4 confirmed. Who's with me? Yeah, dude, I want EA to make Spyro 4 using the EA skate engine. So that way Spyro's riding a skateboard, but you could like do like tray flips and shit. That's my that's my Spyro 4. If Spyro 4 it doesn't isn't in the skate engine. I not not my Spyro 4. Go Wizard Peak. EA Sports. It's it's in the flame. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm about to I'm about to ban you for how cheesy that was. Did the flame. <laughs> Most amount of DLC possible. Yeah, I, I want my Spyro 4 with as many microtransactions as they can muster. 
with the most half-assed Unity uh, frames frames tied to the physics engine. That's my Spyro 4. That's the kind I want. Oh my god, look at all these boxes. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. What the hell? gold down there. Okay, uh, no wizard proxy, that's fine. Touch the pedestal, I'm not sure if that made a difference. Grab this. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the Artisan Home. <laughs> I like listening the to them sometimes. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan Home? What? Stones? Sounds good. I'm a fucking ghost. Got it. Yeah, that, that was God talking there. Bruce Almighty. Let's do the any percent charge here. Damn, there is shit everywhere here. There's a dragon? Fuck, <laughs> I'll get the dragon. He, Spyro's dead here for sure. Yep. Yeah, he walked off the edge. But luckily I respawn right here. Yeah, that was Morgan Freeman I just rescued. Uh, hello, Spyro. That was the worst Morgan Freeman of fucking impression. I don't know, fuck. But that was like uh, Hagrid Morgan Freeman. Hello, Spyro. Fucking what? He's not even British. <laughs> That's a good impression, right? I'm, I'm known for having good impressions. Okay, that guy still has a 25. Give me that shit. Kill this fucker as well. That's the fucking... That's my Hagrid Morgan Freeman. Hello. This is God. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's really good, really good Morgan Freeman. Alright, get me out of here. <laughs> it's the beer talking, dude. Cheers. Yeah, Spiral 4 confirmed, dude. They moved around some of the gems in this game and now it spells Spiral 4 in the stars. Let's go blow dick. We got any more nuts? All right, my last nuts. Cheers. Oh, there's gotta be one down here, right? No? Sparks list, we gotta be careful. Chill with the- what the fuck? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. And dude, there's like three things floating there. <laughs> oh, here we go. The recovery. That was a hurricane hat moment. <laughs> Look at this, dude. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is like breaking my brain right now. Hold on, I gotta get it without jumping. Beauty, love it. Great execution. Okay, dude, they put a firework check. <laughs> See where they go. Oh, it's gonna hit the void. Wait, did it collect? I think it collected automatically. Ooh, ooh, slick. Slick maneuvers there. Oh, 
Whoa. Any secret gems anywhere? Oh, whatever. Oh, she said she blows hard. I need to put on my hurricane hat. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh. Well, the best thing that could happen for Spyro 4 would be a fan project with the OG crew. Yeah, until fucking Microsoft Blizzard Interactive Activision decides that that's too much of a threat to their bottom line. Beast makers. Dude, I'm still holding... Dude, I hold out more copium that they're going to finish Zera before they finish Spyro 4. You guys remember Zera, Myths Awaken? Look at this shit. How many gems do I have at this point anyways? Three, four, three, zero. Is that good? I don't even know. I feel like I'm a little under gemmed, right? Oh, whatever. It's fine. We'll be fine. It's because I haven't been going into flight levels. No, yeah, for sure GTA 6 will come out before Spyro 4. For sure. Okay, let's go Terrace. So Spyro 4, yep, you heard it here, Mika. Spyro 4 confirmed. It's legit. It's legit. I said so. Therefore, it's legit. It's, a, it's out now. Go, you buy it at your local GameStop. GameCube exclusive. Dude, what even is that video? <laughs> Yeah, probably the more I go through this, the less impossible it seems. Like, I tried to really make the settings, like, as hard as possible. But honestly, I do think 120 is probably possible with the hard settings on. I will consider sub it in the future. My video is probably a rant. I mean, yeah, that much is easy, to, is safe to assume. Spyro 4 was ages ago, it's called Enter the Dragonfly. Actually, uh, you, you, ha you are wrong, actually, because Spyro 4 actually came out before Enter the Dragonfly. It's actually called Spyro 4 Halo 3. So if you just look up Halo 3, that one is going to be uh, Spyro 4, actually. So Sorry, you're wrong. Again. Nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, that's like the real argument to that. It's like, you wouldn't call Wrath of Cortex Crash 4. But you can't call uh, Enter the Dragonfly Spyro 4. That's actually a really good argument. To actually be a nerd for a moment. <laughs> I like it. I like these boxes just hiding in the corner. They're just shy. They're scared. You would in Japan, is that true? Wait a minute. <laughs> you mean we would in Japan? Trob. <laughs> Me and Trob know a thing or two about Japan. Me and Trob know a thing or two about about uh anime figurines. In Japan, so I trust his I trust his uh, analysis on the subject. All right, that's enough of that shit. Let's keep it moving. I feel like I'm under gemmed, so I'm gonna head over to Wild Flight and just do that real quick. I'll head into some of the other levels as well. Oops. Do, 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 do. 
Oh shit, that dragon came out of nowhere. They don't talk about Bruno. Crash, uh, call, call Crash Wattica, <laughs> Crash 4. It's Twok, not Wattica. Wrath of the Lich King. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> Crash World Trade Center. I think he's getting his acronyms wrong. All right, Chugger's in the chat. Cheers. I like it. Wattic. I like that more than Twok. Quat. Crash Quat. What's the best game that has like an abbreviation like that? Sarah was telling me in Baldur's Gate, uh, people call, like, in the Discord, they call Shadowheart. They just shorten her name to Shart. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good shortening. I'm talking about you, sexy bitch. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck that up. Fuck. Oh yeah. That level wasn't even different. I was just I just played it badly. Epic. Yeah, this mod is pretty cool. I think for me. Also, what I'm gonna hold on. I think for me, I would um, probably play this um, as a race, like in the future. Like maybe I'll do like a 120 race with someone of this on like hard mode. That'd be kind of cool. Oh man. Man, this beer is making me sleepy. Dude, how do you get up there? Hold up. Hold up. I got this. Yeah, like this. Maybe I was supposed to use the enemy. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe from over here. Oh! Oh, man. I had that. Fuck. Hold on, I'm getting this blue. Can't stop me. No! <laughs> last try, last try. No! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, for reals. For reals this time. No way that- nope. I've disgraced my family. I can't even try again at this point. It's- it's over. Yeah, sparks can't reach reach gems above you or below you for that matter in this game. You have to be perfectly on the same plane as the gem. Yeah, sparks is above that shit. Sparks doesn't get paid enough to get those gems. Damn, look at all this shit here. This looks like a more correct layout for stuff, honestly. Having all that shit in the middle of the map like that. Dude, we gotta see what Guantan looks like. Ooh, dragon right in the middle. Not bad. Where the fuck am I? Alright. There's gotta be gems up on top of here, right? Go over here. Yep. How'd I know? Little dragon hiding there. Little bitch. Oh, I'm definitely dead here. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here. Yeah, it's fucking dark in here. Age. No, no. I'm gonna turn Why? my light on one sec, I BRB. Remember. Uh, gotta go. I gotta get, uh... Wait a minute. If I just do this, it'll work. 
Just turn on a light one moment. Go. Let there be light. Aww. The cat was at the door. I just slammed the door in his face. He was like, no. Did I say this room? Whoa, shit. Would I say that room is the hardest in a hundo run? Um, I would say it's one of the harder places to not take accidental damages. One of the harder places to not take accidental damage, yes. Um, oh, I should have tried gliding over there. That would have been doable. But, um, I wouldn't say it's like the hardest part of the run or anything. It's just hard not to take damage, but usually you'll have enough sparks there that it's like you can take a damage or two it's, and it's not like a big deal. But yeah, to do damage lists, that's easily one of the hardest parts of the whole game. True. But, you know, there's more to, to speed running than just not taking damage. Like being a, like having no girlfriend, for example. That's why my runs have been bad lately. Cause I have a fucking beautiful girlfriend. Which I'm so thankful for. Oh man, I barely hit that guy. I got lucky. Actually, my runs have been pretty good lately. I'm not gonna lie. I got a 40 today, which is, you know, isn't anything to write home about, but my rats have just been getting more and more consistent. Damn, look at this dragon just hiding here. No, you did not make my runs bad. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's just a big joke. Ha ha ha. I just suck. Hey, okay, fuck you. I'm not kidding anymore. <laughs> so this ain't a joke anymore. Get him. <laughs> you just send Cheddar after me. Cheddar, Cheddar's like your attack animal. Cheddar's like, rawr! And he just gets like stomach pats. He'll come up to me looking all scary and then just the moment I start feeding him, he's like, oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one more time. Perfect execution. Get me the fuck out of here. Here we have four, five, one, two. Okay, we're doing good here. We're on track. I might not go to every Dreamweaver's level again. This is just gonna be like an any percent playthrough. I'm just gonna get enough gems to get out of Dream. Oh my God, over there. Hold on, I gotta do this. I gotta do one thing here. In the, for the sake of exploring. I gotta do the invincibility glitch. So that way I can explore the outer... Yeah, because look, there's shit all over the place here. I gotta do this. So this is a trick called Level Disassociation. And what's gonna happen is the screen will flash for every life that I have, and then when I game over, the game is still in a state where it wants me to be entering the portal, so I don't take damage, basically. So check this out. Even though I can grab all this shit... I don't take damage. But even so, it is uh, hard to reach shit like this. I don't even know how you'd do that. You'd have to like glide from some spot like up over there to do that. Yeah, I'll definitely take a day one of these days to uh, try to maybe 120% this. Because actually this is like way more difficult than I would have thought. But none of these gems that I'm seeing look like impossible. How do people discover this shit? I don't know. Funny enough, there's still an invisible wall if you go far enough out here. So the devs even thought far enough to... To like, you know, put one there. Despite the fact that no one could ever make it out this far, normally speaking. At least I can get these. Yes. Hold on, I gotta see if there's any gems under under here. Hey, nice cock. Nope. 
Get your ass back to the house or you will miss supper that's why you're skinny as fuck and no one likes you. You need to put some meat on your bones boy. <sighs> He's not talking about me, that's Spyro's dad. <laughs> that one's called. Thank you for the one dollar. You're skinny as fuck boy. <laughs> A robot just like dressing you down like that. Yeah, you can only go out, like, about as far as I went there, Alakazan, um, and then you hit an uh, invisible wall. Pretty crazy that they even put an invisible wall there. Again, seeing as in normal gameplay, you would, like, never even be able to get that far. Wait a minute. Did I see something? Oh, look at that! I didn't even know about this spot. Yo, you can land here? I had no idea about that spot. Oh, that's tight. I'm learning something new every day here. Oh. Hold on, let me check and make sure there aren't things on top of those. Okay, good. Hold on, I gotta hit that with a supercharge. I gotta. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna go around. Give me that. Oh yeah. For the culture. I'm gonna make that. Oh, come on, give me that shit, you fuck. No, I did no, legitimately, I didn't know you could stand there. You talk, I'm talking about this spot right over here to the left. I had no idea about it. Yeah, I had no idea you could stand here. For my entire however many years I've been speedrunning this game. I had no idea. Yeah, all the enemy spawns are the same, Roxy, correct. But anything that's like a an object, like a like a gem or a box or chest of any sort, those are all moved around. Sometimes to very precarious spots. It's a blue ghoul. Does the glitch stay? No, when you enter a new level, um, the invincibility goes away. Yeah, let's do this one more time here. See how far we go. Oh, perfect. Just excellent execution. Perfect stuff by me. That again. Just wanted to grab that dragon. How many dragons do I have anyways? 43? Okay, yeah, I do gotta catch up with my dragons here. So we need 50 to exit beast makers. I might need to go back to like Stone Hill or something, we'll see. Right? Oh, that was satisfying. Beautiful. Love to see it. Over this way. Oh, there's the other dragon. Let me grab some of these things first. Hold on, let me- I should have saved those things and supercharged through them all. Here, hold up. Oh yeah, I don't even need the key chest. Or the key, rather. Can you get the Egg Thief early? You can- so the- the red one you can hit before he starts running, and the green one you just cannot get early. They're in- you- even if you get close to them, they're invincible when you're chasing them, is the thing. Oh, and another dragon. Yeah, it is seeing a wor uh, purple spring chest, that is weird, I agree. I didn't even realize there was one here. We gotta head... Here, let's head over here. Give me that blue. Mm 
<laughs> There's like surprisingly nothing up here. That's fucking funny. All right, well, I think I've gotten every dragon I need to up here. Let's go ahead and get out. Get over to Metalhead. Yeah, I think I'm going to be just a couple dragons short, so we are going to have to head back to, like, uh, Stone Hill, I think. <laughs> Let me explore the home world a little first. You can make this. There we go. Oh, God, oh, and the key is up there. Little fucker. And there's the key chest. How many gems do I have anyways? Four, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, I'll get the rest in Dreamweavers. It's not, or actually, I need even more than that, so... I'm going to try to get that key one more time. If I fail it again, then I'll just move on. Try one more time, because it would be nice to get it. Ah, oh, one more, one more. You need like a really juicy wall glide there. Or alternative, oh wait. Oh, come on. Alternatively, you could also do a damage abuse on the electric guy that I killed. What's up, Cac? How you doing? Welcome. Have a good night, Bex. And Cac, love you guys. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. So let's head over to Metalhead. Grab some gems on the one dragon that's here. Yeah, cute vibes in the chat, Bex. We love you. I see the dragon over there. To get to that dragon, you have to, uh... Hold on, you could do this, actually. Let me try this. There's a few different ways you could do this. It's surprising that I don't have more subs. You mean, like, YouTube subs? I'm just gonna say thanks to that. Appreciate it. I don't think there's any... Anything weird about my sub count, to be honest. I appreciate that. I got enough subs. I got enough cute Spyro fan chatters here. Yeah, maybe I can um, use the bananas to do one of these. No. What I'd have to do is do bowling. Okay, so this is a trick that I'm like really bad at. What's up, Lucy? Welcome. Check this out. So we go back to that area over there. Might want that life, but I'll come back later for it. Now here we do this. Oh, you're trying to get the- you're trying to bounce off the guy there is what I'm trying to do. You grab that life and then... Death abuse right on back there. One more time. If I fail it, then whatever. I'll just go to Stonehill for the last- how many dragons? Like four. There's exactly four in Stonehill, so it's fine. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so bad at it. All right, I'm going to Stonehill. But let me at least look at the Metalhead fight, just to see how the pylons look. Yeah, the pylons are in the same position, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's just more shit all over the place. Oh, there's the key. I'm not going to stress the gems too hard. I'm actually going to go ahead and just exit at this point. Oh, blah, 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 blah. 
And then, um, we're gonna head back to, um, Stonehill. Which is, I should have gone in there from the start. That was very silly of me not to do that. Magic Crafters. Then we'll go to Stonehill, we'll come back to Beastmakers, head to Dreamweavers, and then we'll explore some of those levels, get up to 6,000 gems, and then get the fuck out of here. And I'll, you know what I'll also do once we get to Nasty's World is I won't do Rat Proxy. I'll, like, go through Cove and the other Twilight Harbor. Oh, I went to the wrong level. Uh, I was supposed to go to... Fuck. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Artisans. My bad. My bad. But yeah, thanks, Blue Eye. Thanks, everybody. I'm glad you guys enjoy my videos. Or just my streams and whatnot. It means a lot to me. It makes me so emotional, I could I could bust a nut. <laughs> uh, artisans. That's where I meant to go. Hoo wee. All right, Stonehill. Yeah, dude, chuggers, man. For you, piggy bank, pibby bampka. Cheers, man. My fellow 120 chugger. <sighs> Emulator world record holder. Legend. Look, piggy bank. I know you don't want to. I know you probably don't want to hear this. I know. I know you. And you already know what I'm about to say. But I genuinely can't wait till you move to console. Like, or if you do, if you, I mean, hey, up to you, it's your life, you know? If you don't want to ever play on console, then hey, respect. But if you do, I'll be very excited to see that. Where, where, where's your head at on that? Are you, I think you're still in like, like you're not gonna ever really play on console zone or are you, are you kind of considering it like down the line? No pressure, obviously. I don't fucking care. I know it's always a touchy subject, being like... Trying to get an emulator player to switch to console. You wouldn't be the first person that's that's resisted that... Uh, um, that sentiment. The hardest part you think is going to be swapping keyboard to controller? Dude, get the fuck up here. Jesus Christ. I just need to find all four dragons here. So far, I'm at fucking zero. Dude, I'm about to- This part isn't even different. <laughs> just get the fuck up here, man. I'm- I'm kind of flabbergasted right now. Can we just get up here? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Holy fuck, that was hard. Okay, here's one. Yeah, they definitely randomized that ledge for sure. That was not a skill issue at all on my part. Let's see where these other fucking dragons are. What's up, Jordan? Your test was successful. I can read your message. How you doing today? Nice. I like I like having a bunch of stuff strewn about here. On like the really wide open areas where there's not a lot of stuff normally in the vanilla game, it's nice to see stuff like over here. Nice to see all these gems in this otherwise completely unused area. Breathes new life into the... into the environment. The dragons over here. There better not be no dragon on top of this fu Oh, of course there's a fucking box on top of there. But yeah, no dragon, thankfully. Yeah, that, that box is technically able to be gotten if you, like, do that jump, like, perfectly, but I'm really bad at that, so I'm not gonna, even gonna fucking bother. It looks like we got another dragon down here. This should be dragon number three. Is there a mod to add more gems and enemies? Uh, not to add more that are th than, like, what's already in the game. Uh, just to reorganize the ones that are already there. This dragon isn't over here anywhere. 
There should be one more dragon here somewhere, right? Yeah, one more dragon hiding. Conniving. When are we getting custom levels? I don't fucking know. Probably never. That's really up to HWD and Outro, how much they want to explore that concept. Oh, there he is. Found him. Kill this bitch while I'm here. Nice, beautiful. Watch the dragonfly spiral. Good camera. Where am I? Couple of gems here, and then let's get out. Beauty. Ha ha ha. Beastmakers. Go Beastmakers. Yeah, on the topic of like switching to controller, um, I think if you use one of here, let me show you something. If you use one of these things, this thing is called a brook adapter. It's like basically a little thing that um converts the uh, you plug it into the controller port and you could use like ps3 ps4 ps5 controllers um so in theory you could use um you could use like a fight stick using an adapter like this or, or like you know a key, maybe a keyboard you could find one that like goes to usb i don't know but yeah you get one of these adapters and then try to find like a a fucking keyboard attachment for a different console i don't know I have looked into it in the past. It's not like very straightforward at all, but in some alternate universe, it might be possible. I don't know. It would definitely take a lot of research and fucking around and finagling and buying weird shit off of odd corners of the internet. Just to get a fucking uh, keyboard working on um, on a PS2. Dreamweavers, let's go. Thank you, Graceful Blue. Welcome, man. BRB slut bus here to take me to slut school to be a slut. <laughs> go back to school, bitch. You slut. Get back on the bus. <laughs> okay, slut. <laughs> Fucking grow up. <laughs> Alright, let's go to haunted fucking shit. Yeah, fuck the low tide. Yeah, exactly. For like how much of a pain in the ass, like it all is. I, I totally hear you, Piggy. That's why I'm not- I, I wouldn't pressure you on the subject. And also, a side thing about it is that it's kind of epic to be the emulator world record holder. So I feel that. I was looking at your uh, your Twitch bio. It says you're trying to go for the emulator sweep. Is that like any percent and uh, Vortex as well? That'd be kind of cool. Vortex is going to be a lot more of a challenge. People got some crazy times on emulator. I think, isn't Composer on emulator? Maybe he's on console, I don't know. Are we warming up? Dude, we're hot. We're, I'm hot as fuck. Look at Spyro, dude. He's horny as a motherfucker. How you gonna tell me this motherfucker ain't hot right now? Hot as a motherfucker. Fucking fuck. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Um. Have a look at some of the audio engineers. For what? For for PlayStation 2? For, for getting a keyboard working on it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, but I already did runs today, so no, this is, I'm not warming up for anything. I'm just kind of, I'm just uh, doing the sub goal, trying a new uh, Spyro mod today. I may, I might, you know, 
I might go and uh, learn how to uh, play this on, uh, do like 120% for this. Not learn, but like just attempt a 120% run, but that'll be further down the line. Sparrow needs to get on the slut bus. Dude, I agree. Goyle, you're the, you're the captain of this bus. Is that what they call them? But you're the driver of this bus. I, dude, they should call bus drivers fucking captains of the bus. Be fucking epic. Bus engineer. Yeah, let's grab some of the. Hold on, I, I know how, they, how he wants me to grab these. Like this. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go fully around here. Oops. Don't drive into the wall. Yeah, like how I am right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's go in here. Okay, that was a cool discovery. We fucking did nothing. Bad experience with bus drivers. Yo, Marmaduke, thank you for the uh, tier three, by the way. Holy fucking guaca fucking shit. Hope you're having a fabulous day today, Marmaduke. Spiral 1 is such a vibe. Dude, I agree. I 100% agree with that. If a custom control do allowed you to break a world record, would you go into a separate category? No, because... Like, because there's limits on what a uh, custom controller could be. Um, basically, the generally accepted rule, like, in speedrunning, is that you can use... And this applies to most competitive video games played on a console. Is that... You could use alternate controllers, like custom controllers, for any game, but once those controllers start doing uh, macros, uh, then that's not allowed. So, for example, like in Smash Bros, for example, you can like rebind buttons using like you can rebind jump to the Z button, and that's allowed. But you can't like you can't bind like a flame charge, for example, to a button, like because that's two different inputs. Like in Spyro, sorry, I'm like using different games for comparison, but. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you can't like you can't just you have a controller where you press a button and it like plays the level for you or something. So like macros aren't allowed, but a controller that like is like say you had like uh, like uh, modify a keyboard to be playable on console that would be allowed if you got a world record with that. Yeah, if your controller has a get world record button, I mean that's a that's a that's a different story. Yeah, I mean, if you could play this game on a Wemo, like if you connect your a Wemo to your PC and then play on an emulator, you could do a a run like that and submit it to the leaderboards. It would be allowed. Thank you for the blessings. Gems do I have? Five, five, nine, eight. Okay, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm just gonna exit the level at this point. I'll look down here for funsies. I wanna see if they put everything, put anything up here. There is literally no reason to come up here ever in normal gameplay, other than to just get back up the way you came. I was curious to see if Pete put something up there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and exit this level at this point. Kind of look at, just kind of hop around to some of the other levels and then get out. I've seen some good keyboard mouse players. Yeah, that's what Piggy Bank is. Piggy Bank has a 124 in 120% in this game on, on a keyboard and mouse. An emulator. It's pretty impressive. And in fact, you know, fun fact, uh, since we're talking about it, did you guys know that Spyro Reignited Trilogy is actually fastest on a keyboard and mouse on the PC port? The reason why is because when you like like swipe your mouse, uh, you turn harder with supercharge. Isn't that fucking crazy? And yeah, Cranium with the tier three, you fucking legend, dude. Chuggers, and, dude, I gotta. I'm sorry, I gotta chug for these tier threes real quick. 
Dude, to Dr. Cranium and Marmaduke, fucking I will stay running for all y'all. Cheers, man. Don't forget, guys, we have a special private tier three channel on the Discord. All you gotta do is go on Discord, join my Discord, and then make sure that your Twitch account is connected on your Discord settings. And then you'll see the private tier three channel there where we host uh, monthly game nights. Where I hang out in the voice call with the, the homies. The Believe me, it gets very... If you want to drink with me and the other tier threes and play some games and fuck around, definitely get up in there. No dream with 100 bits, you just went on the hype train. Dude, good shit, man. The free emotes. The hype trains did update the emotes like a little while ago, so... There are more emotes to be gotten if you haven't been in a hype train recently. So feel free to drop a gift, you know? Got a prime, you know? Now's the time to do it. Um, let's see. Let's head over to the top of the castle here. Sad mode when you have all the free emotes. Well, Lazi's just a badass like that. Oh my god, how do you get that? Oh, how do you get up there? What the shit? How do you do that? Oh, you probably have to glide from above. Hold up. So this is what you have to do here. Check this out. To get up to those, this is the strat. You guys are gonna shit at this one. If you haven't seen this one before, you're gonna like this. Alright. Man, and even that doesn't get me high enough, actually. Is there anything? Yep, there's stuff up there, though. That's funny. Yeah, you need an even juicier fucking bounce to get up onto some of those. Pretty crazy. Oh yeah, dude, no worries, Graceful. You good, have a good night. No pressure for anyone to join the Discord or anything, it's all good. Yeah, have a good night, Grace. Yeah, the reason that- that's called a damage abuse. The reason why, why that damage abuse works, that shoots me super high in the air, is because, um, supercharged momentum is conserved, um, after a bonk. So if you are supercharging and you bonk into something, as long as you don't press anything, you'll still have the same amount of moment. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, dear gems. This is why I'm saying, by the way, guys, why 120% might not be possible, is because of shit like that. <laughs> It took until this point in the run to really illustrate that, but yeah, now that we're in like more void heavy levels, that can cause, that can happen. But I'll, so I'll have to create like a different, um, I'll have to reload, um, what's it called? The fucking, the randomizer with different settings so that that doesn't happen. I can do that, thankfully. Dimly with the gift. Thank you, Dimly. Love you, man. Hope you're doing well today. Get out of here. <laughs> You thought you were tra I know, this uh, this playthrough is fucking crazy if you're stoned, for sure. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. It's like, is this how it's supposed to look? Thanks for the good luck, Dimly. Love you, man. Grab this one. For the culture. <laughs> They're like right on the edge, these boxes. Alright, let me clean up some of the rest of these gems. We'll head over to Jock afterwards. Oh, you're right, I did. You know what, Lucas? I'll go back. I'll go back. One sub and I'll go back. I'll tell you what, one sub and I go back to Lofty for the Red Spring Chest. If someone subs right now, I'll go back and get and find the Red Spring Chest in Lofty. I'll do it. You guys have till the end of this level. You guys are so cute. 
all loving each other and stuff. All right, there we go. We're going back for you, No Dream, and for you, Lucas. And C A J, thank you for the fucking killing upgrade. Appreciate that, man. Dude of Kitty with the gifted membership as well. Love you guys. We're gonna find this red spring chest. Just in honor of you guys. Try again, no. Do not try again. Okay, we're going back. Back to Lofty. I'll get some sparks, I think I might need them. All right. So, red spring chest. Where is it? There's a green one up there. We might have already like seen it. If if, if anyone can like check the last playthrough of the level and just confirm that I didn't already get it. Let me just make sure it's not down here somewhere. It's not down there. Look over this way. Oh wait, uh. Because I wasn't really paying attention and I might have gotten it and not realized it. Unless, uh, unless some of you guys are certain I missed it. <laughs> I make you cute. I, I didn't have any hand in that. You did it all yourself. Um, that's why I'm blessed to have you here. If the red spring chest is like up on top of this thing, I swear to god. There are some gems up here, but no red spring chest. Let's see if um, it's on top of the uh, castle again. Or maybe it's over here. Oh, that was a blue spring chest, I think. Yeah. Uh, what do I do here? I'm getting dizzy. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's do that jump again. Yeah, I see some red gems here. Oh, there's a dragon. I'm gonna grab this dragon. I'm seeing some red spring chest love on YouTube here. Thank you so much, Hack On, with the fucking $5. Appreciate that. Love you, Hack. All right, so now we're spawning here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I think this might be a red uh, fan chest, right? Yeah, there's one of the the you guys don't know this But there's also the only red fan chest in the game right there as well. So that's kind of a fun fact But let's keep looking around here <laughs> Useni, what are you doing? There's a green spring chest blue seeing them. I probably shouldn't be killing these guys, right? I'll take a... Uh, how many lives do I have? Three? Uh, let's just grab the uh, fairies here. Yeah, this red spring chest is like pretty well hidden. I don't even know where it is. I See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I might have already gotten it. And just didn't realize it. It's not over here anywhere, right? It definitely exists. I just might have gotten it already is the thing. Yeah, can anyone on YouTube, like, scroll through the VOD from when I first went through this level and double-check for me? Thank you. I am, like, pretty sure I must have gotten it already. 
I'll, I'll, I'll just do it myself. I'll just confirm myself here. Let me see. All right, let, let's see here. Let's see if I got it already. Okay, that's not the first time. Yeah, streamception. I'll make it full screen here. Let's go to the beginning of the level and just start scrubbing through. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see if we get. Let's see. If, excuse me. Let's see if this fucking spring chest is anywhere. Yeah, double deo. I'll even I'll play it at, at double speed just so we can watch it more quickly. Yeah, this is me cheer. Hey, I'm gonna cheers to myself. Hey, chuggers. Chuggers to pre previous me. Let me see. Okay, green. Let's see. We're looking for the red spring chest right now to see if I grabbed it the first time without realizing. Might be hiding down in this area, like back in back in that corridor. Let me see. I'm not seeing it yet. We're look. Keep your eyes peeled for the re red spring chest. I'm trying to see if we. There's a yellow. Maybe I still haven't gotten it yet. It's got to be somewhere. <laughs> Here's the gems that just fly away. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like um, that should be towards the end, right? We're trying to see if I if I got that. Yeah, no, I definitely did not get it. That's crazy. I definitely did not get it there. You saw one? Yeah, let's try the corridor. Corridor fuck. You guys might be right about that. Down here. Watch it be right in the corner back here. No, I don't see it. To the left of the entrance of the supercharge ramp. Uh, oh! Oh my god, you were right! Dude of 80 was so right, it's up there! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the, dude, I'm surprised I didn't find it. Dude, wow, he, yeah, dude of 80 called that. That's crazy. How do you even grab that? Literally, how do you grab this? I have no idea. You could try a supercharged turnaround here, but there's no way you're gonna make that. What's gonna be smarter is if I try to get the damage boost again. Oop, I went the wrong one. <laughs> that is so fucking crazy. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking challenge to get this now. Yeah, they had to put it in the hardest possible spot. That's fucking crazy. All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. So, let's just go this way. Oh wait, fuck, I fucked up, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you put that shit so far out of the way to the left. I was like, there's no way it's to the left here. Yeah, it's right there, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking red spring chest, dude. Being a fucking hipster as always. No, that's no, not gonna make it. Hold on, maybe I could do, um... 
Maybe I can do this. Yeah, let's go this way. Um, go around this way. And then, like, try to curve it back around. No, I fucked that up. I might have to do the supercharged turnaround for that. Do this. Oh, come on. Just wait, just wait. No. Dude, how do you get that? Literally, how do you fucking get that? Even with the fucking super bounce, I have no fucking clue. Too low, too low. I'm gonna try this a few more times. If I can't get it, I can't get it, you know? Yeah, that is a real slutty chest, honestly. For the for all the subs, I will try it though. I'll give it my all. Yeah, this fucking red spring chest is higher than Snoop Dogg right now. Try it over this way. Wait it. No. Yeah, how do you get that fucking high, man? Like, maybe? Like, no, nah, no. Nah, I feel like it can't be, like, doing it against here, right? Maybe you are supposed to do it, like, right here. But even then, like, to do the supercharged turnaround here. Like, I don't know. Yeah, at least we know where it is. I mean, we did find it. But can we get it? Is the question. This is going to be a bit of an odyssey, I think. This is your fault, Cool Goyle. I don't know why it's your fault, but it is. Damn you and your slut bus. God, it feels like it's just barely out of reach. Maybe there's some strat I can do. Hold on, let me go up here real quick. Hmm. Maybe there's something I can do, like, actually in this area that I'm not aware of. Like, maybe try wall gliding up this. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Hold on. Let's at least try getting up there with the wall glide. I do it from like right here. Too low. Dude, this is fucking hard getting up here. Ugh. Dude, how, man? How? My only other... Oh, my only other course of action would be to maybe, like, do a reversed supercharge. Like, where you supercharge down here and then turn it around. Like, in midair and, and go back. I don't know how you would do that, though. Yeah, no, you can get- guys, feel free to share the ideas now. I'm, I'll totally take any backseating you guys have. Maybe I could do the turnaround this- whoops. Oh, make it back. No. How many lives do I have? Two? Alright, we're good for now. I'll do the life cheat if I'm gonna game over, because I don't feel like going all the way through the level again. You gotta get on the arches above the supercharge. Like, maybe you're saying, like, do this? Like, land on those? That That's not a bad idea. Let me try that. Let me see if you can land on that. It looks like you would be able to land on, like, the flat part there and then be able to supercharge out of that. Oh, that was close. Oh, 
Oh, I want to land on the flat part up there. It's hard. Can you even, like, do that? And doing the turnaround on the second part of the Let's try that. Let's try going like this. And then doing this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Come on, get me up there. What's the camera doing there? It got stuck, the camera. What the fuck was that? Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. This could be this could be money. God fucking damn it. Hold on, I'm doing the life cheat. I know, cheater. Cheating bastard. Yeah, you could probably land on the flat part, that's true. Yeah, I think I think it's something along these lines, like what we're doing here. Ooh. Well, let me just see if you can land on the flat parts of these. Fuck off. All right, hold on. Now let me try the supercharged turnaround. I'm kind of like hopping between both strats here. Oh, man, I got it good the first time. You have to get like a, a bump on the uh, ramp there, on the turnaround part. We're going to get this fucking red spring chest, I swear to God. It's actually harder than it, you'd think to get that little bump there. Got to turn it around harder. Oh, come on. I just got to turn a little harder. Dude, I got it perfectly the first try. Oh, man. So fucking hard. You still think the red cupid guy could work? Maybe. I'll give you a maybe on that one. That was gonna be your suggestion the whole time? Lazzy, you're horrible at backseating, I gotta be honest with you. But that's okay. Isn't there a red cupid at the entrance of the area? Yeah, but the thing is, with the red cupid, that's like, you're talking about the one that's um, right here. Like, right down there. The thing is, is this wall is a 90 degree angle, so even if he shoots me against this wall, it's not going to bounce me up. The The reason it works with the other wall is because it's angled, so he like uses it as a ramp. With this wall, it's too vertical for that. Ugh. Let's take the death. Yeah, Lazi just chilling in space. No biggie. There's one thing I do on this playthrough. It's gonna be get this red fucking spring chest. Come on, baby. Give me this one. Oh. Dude, it's so hard. Go around the circle thing? Okay, sure. Um. Yeah, it's so close, yet so far. I'm trying to get like a bump off of this part. So annoying. Okay. No. It's so hard, guys. It's so hard. I'll try the uh, the damage uh, damage boost one more time. Oh, you know what I could try? I could try jumping off the ramp. Hold on. And then, you know, trying to build as much speed as possible before the damage boost. Raise your game. Thank you for the gift, man. We're go we're about to raise our game here, man. For you, we're, we're going to do it. So do a full, full hop there. 
Doesn't feel like enough. Yeah, I need a, I need a stronger... Like, I think the key is going to be getting a stronger supercharge for this. Yeah, let me try that real quick since you mentioned it, Pride. I'll try actually landing on the arches. I'm not, I'm not convinced you can actually land on these arches, though, to be honest with you. If I did one of these, I'd like to try one of those. Use Fireball from Spyro 2? I wish. Can't even get supercharged from there. A wall glide? You mean on this? I don't know. This looks like a not wall glidable wall. You know what's funny? It's I can flame charge jump and hit it. I just can't collect it. How the fuck do you get up there? Right, let's just extend the supercharge here. <laughs> nice, epic. Can you give a hint? Yeah, go ahead, sure. Jake, so you just know the answer? You've like done this already? That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I just gotta do the proxy. Alright. Fine. I just need, like, as much speed as, like, humanly possible here. So I'm, like, doing this, this, uh, damage boost wrong, right? Like... Should I do it against, like, a different wall, or... What are you guys saying? Because this wall seems to give me the most height. I don't know if maybe I want to maybe do it further on the left, JX. Like, if, you, if, if you're going to give me hints, JX, you better go in depth here. Should I go on the left side, like over here? Or should I do it over here? Or should I do it somewhere else? Maybe try to do it against here. The right wall? You mean this one? Do you think this one's a better choice? I'll try that one. All right, I'll give that a shot. Oh, is this gonna make it? Oh, I think I glided a little early. No. Shit, okay, yeah, that's the move. Yeah, JX knew. I didn't realize the right wall gave you so much extra height. I think I just glided a little early there. I should have just waited a bit longer with the glide. Yeah, this, this is the strat. But you need like as much speed as you can get. So really jumping a lot here. I don't know if that does anything. Wait it. Oh, this might not work. Yeah, that's too low. I need to be fully against that wall. That was incorrect. Here, I'll just fly back up. You can keep chaining the supercharge. All right, let me try that. You mean like just around this circle here? Does this actually make you go faster? Oh, wait a minute. No. Man, Jay, you want the controller, JX? <laughs> He's laughing at me. Am I an idiot? 
I feel pretty dumb compared to JX right now, I'll be honest. Chuck it here. <laughs> Alright, I'll just figure it out at this point, JX. I think you've done your part. I'll try this, though. See if that does anything. Oh, that definitely did not do anything. You know what I'll do? I'll go, like, straight to the right instead of landing up there. What's up, Michael? Go this way. Oop, fuck that up. Four hundred. Michael just hit four hundred gifts. Very nice. That feels like a good supercharge there. I'm gonna wait for this guy. All right, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got high enough. We did it. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful and land on this part. All right. Phew. Okay, we're here. Gotta give it up for JX. JX gave me the the cheat code. All I needed to know was to was to hit the right wall. That was all I needed to know. We did it. I almost don't want to collect it. It's so beautiful. Oh, you hit the supercharge again. I hear what you're saying. But, I mean, at that point, I would have already have succeeded in my mission, though. GG's. Can you glide in there? Is that a thing? I'll do that again, just for funsies, since you mentioned it. I'll do that real quick. Wait it. Yeah, this is like the highest I've ever gotten this uh, thing. I didn't realize it made you go higher from that right wall. Now I know. Learning learning moment. Uh, I feel like I fucked that up. Oh, this does feel a little faster. Hold on. Wait it. I mean, Spyro Speed does max out at a certain point in midair, so it's not like this will infinitely make you go faster and faster. But this should be pretty fast here. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh well. Anyways, I get the idea. GG's, we got the red gem. Guys, we did it. We got the red gem. I only had to give JX the controller for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. That was a cool learning experience. I had no idea that the right hand wall, I never tried doing it on that right wall. I didn't realize that one made you go higher. Now I know that. Now I know. Now you know. All right, how many gems do I have? Six, two, four, two. I'm saying let's just skip Jock and let's go to Nasty's World. Let's put a bow on this playthrough. Once again, if people want to see me do a 120% run, feel free to leave a comment or whatever. Drop a sub. Let me know. I may, I may or may not sub goal it in the future, but for now, we're just going to get through this. Call it a night. I've been already going for like four hours today, so... If I do decide to 120% this, I'll have to devote a whole stream to it. But yeah, with a little help from the chat, we can, uh, you know, we can do anything. Hold on, I'll, I'll try Rat Proxy for funsies. Right, whatever, let's go to Cove. Yeah, there are seeds to this randomizer, um, but I picked a random one. So the see, I used like the minus one instead of like using a number. I chose like a negative number, which means that it chooses a seed at random. So I don't know exactly what seed this is, but I can tell you that the seed. Oh, I fucked that up. I can tell you that the. I'll just run through. Um, that I did minus one for the seed. Um. I did one for the easy, medium, and hard weight. I did one, two, and three respectively. So it's weighted in favor of uh, harder gems. Let me try. Oh, dude, look at that. Look over there. Are you serious? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. 
Wait, 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 wait. That's surely how you're supposed to do it. Give me that. Give me that shit. Oh, you fucker. You actual, you have to do that to get to all those. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That that's that's classy. Yeah, I kind of do want to try a 120% playthrough of this. Maybe even the same seed, because it doesn't look like super impossible. I'll just have to turn off the um, the firework chest randomization, because when these things blow up, the gems sometimes go like out of bounds and shit and are uncollectible. But besides that, I mean, it feels pretty doable. <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that dragon. Oh, where's the vortex? Oh, I need to find the vortex. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot. This is the one level where you need to exit out the vortex to... Oh, there it is. In order to um, unlock Twilight Harbor. That's funny. Oh, he got stuck on the... Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so I actually can't exit this level using the Vortex because the roof interrupts it. So that means I have to do Coveless or, or Rat Proxy in order to beat this to beat this particular seed. That's actually crazy. Yeah, this particular seed, I'll, I'll have to turn off the Vortex randomization if I want to 120% this because you can't get into Twilight Harbor otherwise. Yeah, that's insane. You can get into Nasty uh, with Coveless, but you can't get into Twilight Harbor. Unless, I guess unless you did like, um, early loot. Nice, beautiful. Let's roll. God, I'm so glad I learned back rat. It feels so much more consistent. I mean, it's, it's, fa it's like a false sense of security, but it's, it's definitely better than what I did before. Rat proxy, yeah, luckily we're not sitting there. It's nice that like my rat proxy attempts usually don't exceed like five or 10 minutes now, which is nice. Laura with the 92 viewers, welcome, welcome. We're just finishing up the any percent of this playthrough right now. We did spend like like half an hour like fucking around in Lofty Castle to get the red spring chest, which was like on top of the supercharge ramp. Oh my god, that shit was annoying. But yeah, hopefully you caught that that clean rat proxy right there. Clean back rat. I'm following in your footsteps every day with my with my rats. And uh, yeah. You know, good any percent runs today. I got I, my best any percent run was a 40 minute run today, but at the very least, um, you know, good any percent, good uh, good mod today. Good shout outs to all the subs today. Like the vibes have been absolutely immaculate, and uh, yeah, this was a fun playthrough. I I might go back through this seat and try to 120 percent it for a future video. Let me grab all these gems just for the just for the love of the game, you know. Just out of curious, I'm gonna try bouncing off a of nasty to see if there's anything out of bounds here. Is there anything anywhere? No, I died. Fuck. I don't think there was. <laughs> I don't think. It's okay. Well, hold on. So, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> the conclusion. Yeah, I have to, you know. We made a lot of friends along the way, you know? You win some, you lose some. You know what I'm saying? You think I'm the best playing this level with the environment removed? Yeah, someone was suggesting that I try that for Spyro 2 or 3. I'm kind of scared, though. The only thing tempting me to do that is that that's like one of the best performing channels on my- or videos on my YouTube channel, so... I'm like tempted to, but also I'm scared because that shit was fucking awful. I'll probably sub go 120% for this seed if I do another playthrough, another crazy casual challenge. Cause some of these gems were fucking crazy, dude. Like I'm gonna have to really learn how to speed run this game to do this. Anyways, GG. That's the run, two hours, 11 minutes. It's about the around the around the time my first one twenty percent timed runs were so. Sorry, I took so long. Yeah, GGs everybody, GGs. What about Gnall that was a fun one. And yeah, once again, I said this multiple times throughout the playthrough. But if you want to see the one twenty run, let me know in the comments down below. Fucking tell me your favorite uh, Spyro song or some shit if you want. I don't care. Tell me your favorite memory of this game with your dad. 
<laughs> and dude, yeah, I really enjoy this playthrough. Like with all the fucking shit moved around, it really felt like a fresh take on the game. Areas that otherwise would have been like empty in the vanilla game, there was like new life breathed into them with uh with the boxes being mo moved around. It felt like prop hunt, you know? Where it's like, man, well, who put this fucking chair here, you know? Like that type of thing. So really cool. I definitely want to um try uh, this again in the future. Maybe I'll even try another seed or something when I do my 120 run, but either way, let me know what you think down below or in the chat or whatever, and that's it. I'm Dayo, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. And cut. That's. I'm sorry. That was my YouTube outro. Cut. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> I'm still here. No, let me uh, I'm gonna raid someone real quick on uh, on Twitch. I had to do the YouTube outro <laughs> I, 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 I know it's, it's awkward. It's awkward to do a YouTube outro live, but you got to do it, you know All right, anyways um, Let's see who's online right now Tyrion, uh, Bonnie I'll just raid Vani, whatever. Not Vani, my hero, my bearded hero. I got the YouTube voice, thank you. I take pride in it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll fuck you in the in the asshole. Peace out. Remember to lick my booty cheeks. Deo out. And then fucking dubstep. Like. <laughs> Deo slut. Guys, I'm gonna go eat some chili. Eat some food. Oh, I gotta cook, I gotta cook up some uh, barbecue chicken for uh, Sarah tonight. And uh, yeah. Eat some ass for dinner. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Have a good one. We're gonna continue this any percent grind and. See how we're feeling. But yeah. I love you all very much. Very cute chat. Spam some cute emotes in Bonnie's chat. I'll catch you then. Peace. Mwah.